another video. I am here with a grocery haul and meal ideas video for you. This is actually the first grocery shopping that I've done in our new house since we moved. I didn't do a grocery order for a whole month. I don't know how we, I don't know how we made it. We were just running out to the store all the time to grab random things, but I finally set the time aside and didn't order. I was just busy doing everything else besides a grocery order, but finally we were just like running out of everything. So. I did an order, so this is kind of a big one for me. It was $160. I had to like restock some stuff that we had run out of. And also I bought some like canned stuff and just some dry foods that normally I wouldn't have bought. But with the craziness of coronavirus going on right now, I was just like, you know what? Let me just stock up on some of that stuff just to keep it in storage because we have space for that now. We have like a shelf in our basement where we can like keep extra stuff so and plus the cans were like all on sale for like five for or not all of them but the ones that i were getting were like five for something so i was like i might as well just do that so some of the stuff that i bought is like extra stuff and well you'll see as i go through it but i'll give you guys the meals that i'm planning on making and go ahead and show you everything that i got so this is a quick overview i am going to go ahead and start with the cold stuff like usual so up here, I just have a gallon of 2% milk. I have two of the Yo Crunch M&M yogurt, or not two, I bought two of them, but one of them is already open. One of them's in the fridge already, but I got two packages of these. I got the chicken nuggets that Chase eats, the Tyson ones, a Pillsbury pizza crust. We're gonna have a make at home pizza one night. So that's the crust that we use. I got butter, margarine, I had to restock a lot of our frozen vegetables, so I got green beans, I got two of two bags of broccoli because Noah loves broccoli, he eats it all up, so two bags of that. I got peas, and this bag was actually ripped when we got home, so I just stuck it in a freezer bag. Over here I just have a bag of carrots. Then I have sour cream. This is going to be for, we don't really need it for this dinner, but I've started eating it. With the sour cream, I'm gonna make chili in the crock pot. Again, it's like my favorite winter meal and I wanna make it one more time before, you know, it starts to get warm out. But sour cream is for that. I got cream cheese. This is gonna be for a dinner. I'll tell you that in a second. Um, cinnamon toast waffles, I got two packages of those. Cheddar cheese, that is also for chili. I have a ham steak. This is gonna be for split pea soup, or split pea and ham soup, I guess. Mozzarella, shredded mozzarella cheese. That's for the make at home pizza. I got some bananas, and then two packages of chicken, and I actually asked for Purdue. I had Purdue on my list. I don't really like Tyson, but I'm using both of these for crock pot meals, so I figured it would be all right. Um, they said I could come back and exchange it, but that was just too much of a pain in the butt. So I'm just going to keep them and hopefully it will be all right since I'm cooking it in the crock pot. Um, but one of these is going to be for creamy chicken and noodles, and that's what the cream cheese is for. And the other one is going to be for chicken tacos. Then I got a big package of ground beef. This is gonna be for chili and also pasta with meat sauce. And then I'll probably have a little bit left over so I can probably do pasta with meat sauce twice, actually. Then I got some rice bags. I just got, I got two of these, the Asian style rice. This is really good and I have it for lunch sometimes with some grilled chicken strips that I get from either Costco or BJ's. I'll just make a couple of those and throw it in with the rice and it's really good quick lunch. So I got two of those. And then I got two of the Southwestern rice. Those are pretty good too. And then I just got a small London broil. And I'm actually happy that this is only a pound because normally it's like two pounds or close to two pounds and we end up like not eating all of it. So hopefully we'll actually be able to finish this one. This is gonna be for crock pot London broil. And that is it for the cold stuff. Now on to everything else. I got a box of instant potatoes. We didn't need these, but I'm gonna put these into storage for just in case food. I got two packages of rotini pasta, one 
for storage, one for using. Two packages of Jamili pasta. One of these is gonna be for the creamy chicken crock pot meal, and the other one, again, just for extra. I got a big container of oatmeal as extra. I got a package of, or a box of pancake mix. Again, we didn't need this, but putting that away just in case. Two boxes of spaghetti, one for now and one for later. I got a bag of rice. We don't use this very often, but we were low on rice, so I don't know. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just hold on to that too. Put it in put it in storage or whatever. That sounds weird. Put it onto our extra food shelf. I got a bag of egg noodles. I forget what I was gonna use these for. What was I gonna use this for? Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I wanted to make a chicken noodle soup, but we haven't been able to find rotisserie chicken, so for now we just have a bag of egg noodles. <laughs> I got some flour tortillas. Uh, Noah eats these mostly. Chase and Noah will have like, well, actually Madison too. I guess all the kids eat these for chicken quesadillas or cheese quesadillas. Then I got a bunch of canned goods. <laughs> I got five cans of black beans. Again, they were on sale, so I just got the five for whatever it was. Uh, pinto beans, I got kidney beans. One of the kidney beans and one of the pinto beans is gonna be for chili. And then I got two cans of green beans and two cans of diced carrots. I got one can of cream of chicken soup, the healthy request kind, because we're trying to be healthier. Um, that is for creamy chicken noodles dinner. And then back here, I think I forgot to show this. I just got little bites. I got two boxes of these for Madison snacks at school. These were two for five. So I got those. Ketchup, because we were low on it. Mayonnaise again, because we were getting low. Uh, two packs of pasta sauce, so we just like the red pack sauce, and this is actually hard to find. So far, I've only found it at ShopRite, the sauce. So, these were on sale, I think, two for something, so I got the two. I think they were two for four, actually. And then I got two tiny little cans of sauce. I use these when I make, like, pasta sauce for Noah. Um, just the Hunt's, like, tiny little cans. Two of those. This is the pizza sauce I'm going to use for... Make it home pizza, classico, traditional pizza sauce. And then chili, we just like the chi cheese. It's not too chunky, so I think that's why I like it um, for, for chili. Did I say that already? Yeah. Then I got the split peas that I use for split pea soup. And the recipe actually is the recipe on the back of the bag. That's the one. Is that even the recipe right here? No, right here. <laughs> this is the recipe that I use. I got a bag of potatoes. It's always good to have some potatoes. And then I just have some packet mixes here. The brown gravy and the ranch is going to be for Crock-Pot London Broil along with an Italian seasoning packet, which I already have. And then I got the chili mix and then the taco or chicken taco seasoning. And I think that is everything. I actually got all this stuff yesterday and I haven't had a chance to lay everything out and do this haul until, until today. So I just had everything like sitting in bags on the floor. So finally I could put everything away, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some dinner ideas. If you did, make sure to like this video and follow my page if you wanna see more videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye.